Okay. Okay. This one's from Megan. Hi, good guys. My name is Megan and I'm a huge moron. Um, my husband and I love the podcast. We listen to it all the time. We need some marriage advice. Mm. So we are going abroad for the first time ever to Italy in the next few months. Um, we're self-aware enough to know that when we go on vacation, we are two different types of vacation people. He is someone that he wakes up at the butt crack of dawn, wants to go for a hike, wants to explore the city. And I'm more of someone where when I'm on vacation, I want to relax. I want to park myself somewhere. I want a nice cocktail and I want to eat some good food. That is what I want to do. Now, we have gone on a few vacations together, and every time we want to do two completely different things, but this is by far the most expensive trip we're going on. Do you have any advice on how we can do both things and not get under each other's skin? Love you guys. Thank you. Love you. I think this is something that plagues both of us in a real way. I think that I'm now starting to think, I think that this is a male, I think this is a gender problem. Look out. I think that turn off the podcast now. Wow. I think that women general. I think that women prefer to sit on a beach with a nice book, get a nice like we're talking a beach vacation. Some women. Some All. women. <laughs> no, so, Peter, some women. Peter the problem over here. Yeah, I just think that maybe we have uh, slightly more ADD. As men, we want to go Spilkes. do, move. Ants in the pants. Ants in the pants. Can't just sit. Yes. Can't sit. I can't. I can sit for a period of time, but then I need to do something. Mm. I need to. And I feel so, I don't know, there's something about you're on a beach. I don't want to, I don't want to watch something on my phone on the beach. I feel like I'm taking the beach for granted. Mm. No, I want to just sit there, enjoy the beach, enjoy the sun. But how long can you do that for? I agree. I, I like, I like to have an activity every day, yeah. but I, the first time my wife and I, we went, I, I had just made a little bit of money and I had never had like a proper, like, girlfriend like this was like a serious relationship and i had never really been on vacation in my whole life and i was like like proper vacation my mom and i would go to the jersey shore drive down to florida on the auto train <laughs> <laughs> sucked and, Ooh, amtrak can't wait to go into the coach car and get a bag of doritos it's spring break josh come to the sixth train yeah come <laughs> Jump on, come to the sightseeing train. There's a guy here who's secretly who's secretly smuggling down amphetamines to Florida. Dude, that happened to me. I remember I was on the train once for three days with my mom going cross country and I was playing dominoes with a guy named Bones. And one day, somewhere between Albuquerque and Flagstaff, a bunch of um, DEA agents come on and they escort Bones out of the train and he said keep my dominoes your poor friend bones i haven't heard from him since <laughs> you haven't heard from bones i thought it was sort of ironic that we're playing dominoes which have the nickname bones and his name was bones bones he was great at dominoes yeah i'm sure he was best two nights of my life <laughs> almost called him dad <laughs> oh, man. bones peck bones peck man double sixes bam honestly uh, next time you have a son third son Bones. Bones, I like that. That's nice. Bones Peck. That's a lot. Bones Peckerman. But look, the advice to this lovely lady, Megan, is compromise. Yeah. That's it. If you are very adamant about your uh, relaxation, he's very adamant about going and doing fun things. Mm. Compromise. Do some fun things. Husband, lay on the beach. Or you could just in like use your powers of being a wife and just say, no, we're only going to the beach. Right. And then he can suck it because mm. that is the power of a wife. Happy wife, happy life. She wants to lay on the beach. Darn tootin', we're beaching. I think, yeah, I think there needs to be a certain level of acceptance. I think there also needs to be, after being with my wife for almost 13 years, I look at, and I, I say this for both of our moods, like the weather right? Like it never stays raining. So now instead of reacting when I feel like something's off between us, maybe totally. it's her, maybe it's me, maybe it's both of us. I just go, here it comes. Yeah. I've seen this show before. And 
I just waited out. And instead of like what I used to do, which was like, can we talk about it? Let's talk about it. Should we talk about it? Let's talk about it. And she'd be like, I don't want to talk you over therapized, you know, man, baby. And I'm like, that hurts. Yeah. Um, But now I just go, I'll see you in 36 hours. Yeah. And I do my own thing. I let her do her own thing. And just like, so I think if you know that like this, this happens between us, don't be reactive to it. And if you get on each other's nerves, take a day to yourselves, go explore, do the things you want to do. And then I promise you when dinner rolls around, you'll be so happy to be with them again. My wonderful sister-in-law, Jackie Ashray, mm. said that, because I'm always like this, Claudia will come to me with something and I'm always looking for a solution. Mm. I'm a solution man. I, you have a problem? I'm going to fix it. I'm going to try to fix it. I'm always going to have an idea and there's a will, there's a way. But you don't always want an answer to a problem. She always says, ask beforehand, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, do you want a solution or do you want me to hear you? And great. those are two very different things. Because if one was just up front and said, I'm going to tell you something, but I just want, I want to tell you. I want to tell someone. Right. I want somebody to be there for me. I'm not looking for solution Joe. I don't know why he's Joe. Solution Ralph just doesn't solution sound what, the same. No, it doesn't. Solution <laughs> Joe. I don't know how we got here. But. I think that's really healthy. I it is, right? Good. Yeah. Nobody dude. does that though, right? She can't even do that. I don't it know. It sounds great. It can't be. People who are unmarried are feral. Yeah. <laughs> they get to a certain age. I'm talking mostly of men. But like the guys I know who are in their 50s and 60s who are like unmarried and happily so. Listen. Marriage is certainly not for everyone, but I'm talking about those guys who are aggressively unmarried. Yeah. Like dodge the bullet. I'm like, did you? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, enjoy your TV dinners, Frank. Enjoy being lonely. 